What up, what up, Mr. Hip Hop Vegan coming with another video. And my mission in life is to serve a billion people through meditation and yogi sciences. And um, right now I'm just, I'm sitting on three, what do you call it, three yoga blocks. I'm working on my hips, hip openers and stuff like that. Um, you raise the, the, the blocks, I got three of them, and then you go down to two, and then you go down to one, and when you're able to do this, you're sitting on the floor with your back, and it helps opening up your hips little by little. And um, and I'm watching a baseball game, the Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. I'm a Yankee fan, so hopefully the Yankees win. We're winning for it too. However, uh, this is a different story. But like my goal in life is just to practice meditation, practice uh, yoga, and watch baseball. Can't get anything better than that. And 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 live a healthy lifestyle with, while eating healthy foods and juices and smoothies and stuff like that. But what I want to get to the topic today is um, God consciousness and how to reach the level of God consciousness and becoming your own God yourself as far as you becoming a healer to yourself and you becoming better than what you were or what you are and how to reach that level. Uh, it's a progress every day, step by step every day. So I'm just gonna give like five steps on the best way to to form that God consciousness. Um, number one, practicing meditation, uh, getting outside of yourself and just being able just to stay still for a while and get away from everything. Um, you can practice different meditation styles. Um, choose the one that's best for you. However, to become um, God consciousness, I think you need to be able to um, practice being alone and being by yourself. And um, just for that moment, even if you just need to be alone or by yourself, you know, and just, and just get away from people, you have to practice the ability to do that um, and not have it affect you being by yourself. Uh, meditation is a, a great purpose. You can use music. Um, you can do it without music. You can um, lay on the floor, lay on your bed, sitting meditation, uh, use a yoga block, whatever is more comfortable for you to get start off um, to get to the point where you want to get to. Uh, to me, when they say there's yoga um, meditation masters and stuff like that, I believe when it comes to like meditation, yoga, even some forms of ma martial arts, I don't think you ever become a master because you're always learning every day. You can you can practice something that you haven't mastered and 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 take something from that area that you don't know and just master it yourself. This might be a long video. It might even be an hour video cuz I just want to get to the point where I'm doing the minimalism thing, getting rid of mad shit, getting rid of a lot of stuff and that's and that's a type of meditation to me because um, we have too much shit, man. We we are born with a lot of stuff. <laughs> and um, some people, a lot of people here in the Western Hemisphere, uh, a lot of us, I mean, uh, we just have a lot of stuff. And the reason why a lot of people live paycheck to paycheck is because they, they want stuff that they really don't need. And they accumulate and accumulate. By the time you know it, you just have a, a room full of shit. So... And the reason why I choose meditation to get to the God consciousness is because meditation takes you to a place where you can visualize what you want, take action, go to work, and visualize it every day. And I believe once you visualize it every day, you're going to be able, uh, God is going to take you to that point where you can get to that, to that section that you want to get to. He's going to point to the direction. Um... My favorite saying of prayer is you talking to God, your intuition is God talking to you. So I think once you get to the point where you, you're, you're meditating on a, on a daily basis, I think um, it, it'll just be easier for you to hear God's words and the intuition and, and God can hear your words, um, you talking to him. But um, I think visualizing what you want through God, you know, through God, through the spiritual aspect, whoever you believe in, um, I think yoga... Now yoga meditation helps with that a lot. Um, it's just important. Meditation is important. 
Um, some people don't need it. I, don't, I think there's people out there who don't need it, meditation. I think there's people out there that's so um, disciplined enough that they really don't need it. But um, to most people, I think the majority of people um, would benefit from meditation. I believe meditation is like a credit card or the, the practice of meditation is like a credit card. Most people um, need a lot of practice to learn how to use a credit card, but there's some people that are so disciplined that they can use a credit card and not have no issue with it. Most people use a credit card and they and they get the, the functional in life. So um, use meditation wisely, use it as a weapon, use it as a time to heal your thoughts, use it as a time to um, get away from things and use it as a, um, as an exercise, a mental exercise, so you can see yourself where you want to be in the future. Meditation is a, a futuristic exercise where you can teleport and time travel through meditation. And I believe that can happen through meditation. Is there, do I believe in teleportation? I believe they do have, um, um, sciences where you can, um, teleport. You, well, teleportation, yes. Uh, do they have machines for time traveling? I mean, I haven't seen anything of it, but if you can, if, if they talk about it and they, and I believe you can time travel. I believe you can. But believing and, and knowing is two different things. Oh, let me put this down for a little bit. Oh, shit. You can feel that in your hips and stuff like that. So... When it gets to meditation, what, what what meditation has helped me with? Meditation has helped me with believing in myself. Meditation has helped me with focusing. Meditation has helped me with figuring out what I actually really want to do in my life. You know, because we, I went through spurs, meditation, stop meditating, meditating, stop meditating. I think this time um, I actually figured out what I want to do in my life. And that's what I'm working on. And, um, and that's my focus. Meditation is helping me focus. And it's helping me realize, oh shit, this is what I got to do to, to, get to, to get to the next level. And what I used to use meditation for is I wanted a lot of merit, merit, uh, materialistic things. I wanted... Uh, which is nice to have if that's what your goal is, but my goal is over materialistic things, these type of cars, this type of clothes, uh, this type of women, this and that, which is cool and all, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't make you happy, then it's not going to ever, ever, ever make you happy. So you have to focus and choose if that's what you want and really go after it and and focus on it and just go ahead and do it. And that's what meditation helped me with, is focusing on what I really want in life. And and that's through um, meditation, yogi sciences, and um, the science of eating, and the, the science of eating right. So that's my goal in life. Um, and that's what meditation helped me with, is, is focusing on, you know, the, the metaphys uh, metaphysical aspects of life. Um, and and pulling me back into what I was supposed to be doing from back in the day. So um, that's my goal in life is meditation, yoga, and eating right. And going to a faraway world where people don't know who I am and and just living and living my life through meditation, uh, through prayer, through teaching, through healing. That's my goal in life. Meditation is, uh, it, it, it'll get you closer to, to God consciousness because God will speak to you. Whatever you believe in, God will speak to you and, and lead you to that direction if you listen. What, when I see mistakes that I make in life, is because I went away from what God was telling me what to do. I didn't listen to my intuition. I didn't follow my stomach. That feeling that you have, like, you better go do that and go do it. I chose not to do it. So, and then I started blaming God and that's not gonna work. If you watch the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness, uh, there's a section, there's a part of the movie where um, 
Uh, what the fuck? Um, well, if you watch Pursuit of Happiness, damn, Will Smith, his son in the movie uh, was telling him a story about um, uh, a guy fell off a, sh uh, a boat uh, and he was praying to God to save him. So a boat came by and the boat said, come on, come on, I'll help you. And the, and the guy on the, in the ocean said, no, 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 God will save me. So they left. Another, another boat came by and, um, and they said, yeah, I will save you, we'll save you. And then the guy said, no, 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 God will help me. And then the guy died, he drowned. So by the time he got to heaven and asked God, um, why do you let me die? God told him straight up, I sent you two boats, dummy. <laughs> And um, I think that was just a, a, a great uh, metaphorical way of putting putting life. That God will send you stuff, God will send you stuff, but you're not following it. And then when you die, you're gonna blame him. Like, why you didn't help me? And he's like, I, I, I send you two boats and you didn't go on the boats. So that's what I use meditation for. So, I mean, I don't know. I live right by the airport, so every time a plane goes by, everything shuts down. And that shit gets on my nerves. But anyways, um, yeah, so that's a good metaphor to use um, the whole God body, um, God consciousness. Um, number two, to get you to the point of God consciousness is going to be the physical aspect. The, the meditation is the mental aspect. Uh, the physical aspect, I think, out of all of them is going to be um, yoga. Yoga is gentle to your to your body, depending what type of yoga you're doing. You know, you have the hard yoga, you got soft yoga, whatever yoga you want to choose to do. But I believe yoga is another aspect of life where it'll get you closer to God consciousness because you are listening to your body. You're finding different ways to your body to maneuver so you can release different... Um, tensions in different spots and and let the blood flow to the area where well, i think a lot of people um get misinformed with yoga uh they just believe it's gonna now what what i think what people think yoga is is just uh instagram pictures where women go and and do different movements and be like oh now i'm an instagram star using the yoga movements let me come back real quick coming back I'm coming back I'm just I'm just fixing this real quick so yeah back to my regular schedule program uh, back to yoga, uh, the, the the physical aspect of the God body, and the uh, thing is, it's just an expression of what you. Uh, yoga is an expression of how you can manipulate your body into different forms to release different um, negative energies in your body, so it can it can move and won't stay stuck. Uh, especially in the hips, I think you know, for men and women, the groin area is a, a very energetic uh, area in the body and it's um, people misuse it and people over abuse it and just being able to stretch that area um, can release different energies that you have the negative energy, uh, negative energy blockage no no blood flowing through the area through the, the to the important muscles in that area because everything is just blocked everything is tight everything just one squeeze and I believe once you open up that hip um, it'll just open up everything. Um, when I when I was in Kung Fu class, um, the teacher, the Sifu, was telling one of the students, it, it, it's going to be a life-changing experience in your life once you're able to open up your hips. Um, and that's what was his... Um, uh, that was what he was telling, you know, the, uh, the, the student, us. Basically, we were all around, and he was telling one person... The, the, the feeling that you have once your hip open is a, a feeling that most people will never be able to um, to get because they're not disciplined enough to get to that point. 
So to be able to get to that God consciousness, open up them hips, open up the hips, that energy in that, in that sexual area is very important. Um, and then once you open up the hips and now release everything, you open up your hamstrings, you open up your, your joints, you know, you open up your, you get the flexibility in your ankles. Um, my mobility in my ankles is not too well. So my two important aspects of yoga this year, um, because we have a lifetime, what most people want to do is they want to, they want a, a quick fix, uh, the microwave mindset. They want a quick fix. They want to take everything and, and get it like that. Now you are, if you just do it every day and then you just, just do it like that every day, then you can do it and it will come to you. Most people are just, oh, I'm gonna do it for 30 days straight and that's it. No, the way you get better is doing it every day, consistency, uh, consistently doing it, practicing. So my two goals for this year and maybe for the next year is to, um, like I said, my ankle mobility is not got that good. So to be able to get down to a, um, to the uh, a yoga squat where I don't have to lift the, the, the back of my heels up, um, it's getting there little by little. Um, uh, that was always my issue through Kung Fu, martial arts, was always my, my mobility in my ankles and not being able to get down in a proper squat. Um, and I'm working on that little by little. Um, playing basketball back in the days, you know, there's a lot of scar tissue. So I'm trying to break up the scar tissue, massage, and just get that flexibility little by little. Um, looking at different exercises that can help and um, that's going to be my journey for the next year is opening up my hips and opening up the mobility of my ankles because I think once you get that mobility in your ankles and your hips your body start aligning you're, you're able to to be able to be flexible in areas that you you you'll never be able that that you never thought that you can be flexible and and, and me being a massage therapist for um, 18 years um, and working on people, uh, they don't want to get, most people don't want to get better. They just want a paycheck. Um, and they, they just want to feel bad. They want to feel bad for their whole life. And that's why I think people are, you get older, you see, you start seeing these people hunching over, um, no mobility. Uh, uh, they need a walker. I can understand if you get in a bad car accident, you know, you break, that's different, but it's these people who, the reason why they're not moving, they're not, they're not opening up, they're not uh, practicing yoga. Um, I think um, the Eastern Hemisphere, the Eastern philosophy, a lot of the old people in that area, um, the, you know, I only been to China, so when I seen the older people there in China, a lot of them had great mobility, um, but, you know, is they, they move around, a lot of flexibility and stuff like that. However, I think here in the Western Hemisphere, um, they don't really, well, they, we're, getting be we're getting better at the yoga and, and, <laughs> and opening up. I think we're getting better. Um, there's a lot of yoga is getting bigger and bigger by the day. So I think um, these people here in America, we're gonna, we're, on this side of the world, we're gonna get better when it comes to that. Um, I was trying to tell my mom, you know, get, get into yoga because um, um, I think that's the main important aspect of life. Um, the physical body is, uh, you know, the uh, the machine that that holds everything together. The internals, the uh, so you know, meditation. The mind is 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 up there, and then you need your your body to to follow that the 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 mind. So yoga is an extension of the physical body like i said and once you get to the movements and moving and being able to to reach places that um that you can't reach um i think yoga is the best place to go when it comes to physical exercise in my opinion um just looking through martial arts you know um uh, i think is one of the safest safest exercises that there is um um open just yoga yoga simple soft yoga hard yoga whatever type you want um hatha yoga pran you know all these different names that they have whatever you want to use and whatever you feel better in um go at it go do it <laughs> and um and that's my step two uh to get to god consciousness um i believe um first and second like i said meditation second is yoga and then the third aspect that to get to the point of God consciousness is handling sexual energy, sexual energies. I think 
especially, uh, you know, all over the world. I'm not even going to say in this part, all over the world, people over abuse sex. People over abuse sex. Life and death happens sharing that energy through sex. Um, and then to me, to get to that, to that God body consciousness, you have to be able to learn how to reverse that, that semen energy, reverse that semen energy for yourself. And for, for women also, I believe, you know, you use, you, you were meant to use semen to produce, to, to ejaculate into somebody so they can have a baby. Just like anything else, once we find what, that we can do that, and then you have pornography that helps you with the masturbation, masturbation, orgasm all the time. You can go on your phone and masturbate anytime you want. So I think back in the days, you used to have to get a, a tape cassette and then put the tape cassette into the VCR and then this or that. Now you can have everything on your phone. So I think sexual energy and just the whole sexualize of a America or global sexualization um, is a, I think is an aspect of life that any everybody should work on. Marriages have been broken up because of that. Um, people getting locked up, they they can't ha they can't they can't handle their sex sexual energy, so they go rape people, they go molest people, uh, child abuse. Um, uh, what's a big um, a, a big um, sex trafficking is a big issue, especially here in Florida. One of the main hubs of sex trafficking is here in Florida, so. When it comes to that, it is, it's all sexual energy that people can't channel and and can't focus focus on. People over abuse it. People over um, just like I said, they just over. They get excited about everything. You see a woman down the street, you you know you you over you overly aroused and stuff like that. Which women, you know, I'm a heterosexual, so women are the best thing to me, <laughs> best thing created. So it's uh. Women make the world go around, and I love them. But that's, that's either near nor there. Sexual energy, I'll say, is number three when it comes to to God consciousness. And I, I don't really want to talk too much about that. Um, you can do your research on it. A great book, like I said, I'm going to put in my description. is the, um, the Tao of Sex, the Tao of Sexology. You have different exercises, how to channel that energy. And... Um, and um, if you want to get that book, get it, and then you can learn about that stuff and learn how to channel that energy instead of getting yourself in trouble and not knowing where you're getting. You lose a lot of energy, you lose a lot of nutrients, a lot of resources when you ejaculate for no reason. And if you're not doing anything with it and masturbating and just watching porn all day and, 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 and shit like that. But if you marry and that's all y'all want to do, then, I mean, that's, that's your life. But um, I'm getting to the point where... Um, that's not even my main focus no more. When, you know, you're younger, blah, 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 it, it happens. Some people, even when they're in the older age, they get to porn addiction and that's porn and they watch porn every day. They can't do anything without watching porn. So that's something that I think to get to that next level to God consciousness is um, handling that sexual energy. And um, that's very important. Once you learn that, then I think that's a very critical aspect. Oh, what's next? Number four. This is a, a, a main big uh, subject. I know Mr. Hip Hop Vegan is all about that that lifestyle, but mostly mine is a plant-based lifestyle. Um, that veganism shit is becoming more of a, a religion, so um, I'm more focused on the plant-based lifestyle and, and, and using that type of, um, and putting that on my mind instead of, oh, I'm a vegan, I'm this and that. It's just getting, it's getting oversaturated. And I can't have a 20 year old tell me about veganism when it's been, it's no, that's a, no, but number four, step four to God consciousness is what you put in your body. Um, especially now where modern day food, especially here in America, the laws are different. Um, everything is um, basically um, artificial food, fake food. Uh, watching a, a, a video about um, farm-raised salmon um, that should be coming that should be coming up soon um, tilapia is nasty I don't even think tilapia is a real fish um, so um, yeah what you put in your body juicing making smoothies putting the right things in your body but like I said it's not for everybody if you want to go eat your meat you want to go do that that keto diet eating meat and just do a meat diet then that's 
that's your life and that's what you want to do but i'm not the person to um to condemn you for doing it that's your lifestyle um i believe people waste their time too much in trying to convert people to their lifestyle of eating if people don't want to change they're not going to change it's just like drug addicts they're not going to stop taking drugs it's just like anything they're not going to stop because you're preaching to them about what's the best way to eat um, and you see online now, everybody's bashing everybody else, and that's getting ridiculous. Um, the food industry is ridiculous. The meat industry is ridiculous. The, uh, the GMO food is ridiculous. You don't even know what you're eating anymore. Especially here in America, where the laws are different. They don't even have to put it on the labels like they do in other places, but, um, Very, very important is what you put in your system. What you put in your system, your engine, your, your whole, you know, is just very important. Uh, and you can watch a whole bunch of videos that I have on my channel about the way to eat and, um, and chemicals that you use. I mean, you go use a deodorant and then on the deodorant itself, itself it has aluminum, which I'm pretty sure if you go to their website, they say, oh, it, it doesn't do no harm, but it says if you have uh, what is it, kidney or liver problem, consult a physician before you use this deodorant? That's fucking crazy. What you gotta understand, you got the lip nodes, one of the uh, area of the lip nodes is right underneath your armpits and it's easier to um, get chemicals through your body by your armpits. It hits that, that lip nodes and, and they start moving around and stuff like that, then that chemical is easy to be used and, and, and move around. So. Try not to even, you know, since your skin is your, your, the biggest organ in your body, try not to put things in your skin that you know for a fact is not good for your body. And that's my step forward to um, get into God consciousness. I can go on for days talking about getting into God consciousness. I'm not saying that's my goal in life is to get to that point, but what is that point? <laughs> um, what's the feeling? Um, and is that the direction God wants to me to move in? That's where I'll go. And I'm not going to use excuses anymore because I don't want to be the person in my deathbed saying, damn, I should have done this, I should have done that. Because when you're young, you think you're never going to get old. And then once you get old, you're like, damn, I wasted all this time when I was younger. And people are going to say, I told you so type shit. And most people, when they get old, they, they have that, damn, he, I should have listened when I was younger. So, um... Just wanted to make this quick ranting video real quick about God, consciousness, and how you can get there. Um, meditation, yoga, um, sexual um, energy, and number four, uh, the food that you put in your system and your body. And you can go on and on and make your own list. And, and But I think those, those four, um, those four um, areas is, is, is is the, the main important factor to get into that, to that, um, to get to that lifestyle. And once you start, you know, meditating and getting your body to the right and correct and alignment, you know, you get your mind right, you get your body right, you get your organs right through eating, through breathing. Well, number five is, number five to get to God consciousness is learning how to breathe. The Science of Breath, which is a good book. Um, you should go out there and read it, The Science of Breath, and where in your body you should learn to breathe from. Um, uh, how, and that's why yoga, and I think all these coincide with each other. Um, meditation, yoga, the foods in your, in your body, uh, sexual energy, and The Science of Breath. As you can see, they all coincide with, your, with everything because you're having sex, you need... The, the, the science of breath and the science of sexology and um, the Tao of sexology. So that book I'll have, the great, the great Tao is a great book that you can read. Um, I think that breaks down to the science of breath. So I'll put that book too in my description box. So I'm going to cut it off real quick right now. It's been a long video. Thank you for watching. Share, like, um, comment. If you have any questions, just hit a question in the comment section. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, like I said, my purpose in life is to serve a billion people through meditation and yogi sciences. Um, what else? What else? What else? And like I said, the top, uh, the top five things I said to get into that God consciousness is one meditation. Number two, yoga. Number three is uh, learning about the sexual energies. 
Number four is what you put in your body, the food that you eat. And number five, the science of breath, because without breath, the life force, um, you won't survive uh, uh, depending how long you can um, hold your breath. But most people, uh, you know how, it takes days for you to die when you don't eat. It takes days for you to die when you don't drink water. It, it, sometimes it takes min, uh, seconds and minutes before you die if you have no air in your system. So um, CO2, um, there you go. Thank you for watching my video. Peace. Peace. Peace.